Bienvenidos. Hoş geldiniz. Sen gel. Choose over. To Gringo Middle School. I'm Alexa. I'm Denise. I'm Kong. I'm Kin. Today we will be telling you about important things at GMS to help you throughout your first few days. We know the first few days can be stressful, but you'll get through them afterward and you feel more confident. To start off, we will tell you about getting to the school. You can get to school in two main ways. Ride in the car or ride the bus. If you're a car rider, then someone will drive you to school and you will get dropped off at the south lot at door 8. Make sure that you get at school by 7.50 so you have plenty of time to get to your locker in your first class. But if you do get here early, you can wait in the auxiliary gym, drop off your instrument if you are in band, or go to the cafeteria for breakfast. For pickup, you will want your ride to be here at 3, which is when school ends at the same lot and door. The other way you can get to school is by riding the bus. If you ride the bus, when you register for school, you need to sign up as a bus rider so the bus driver knows to stop at your house. If you ever forget what bus you ride or what time it gets to your house, you can look it up on the school homepage under Parent and by clicking on Transportation Search or by using the link in the description. After the bus picks you up, it picks up the rest of the students in your area and head to school. Once your bus gets to school, it will park in the north lot and you will either wait to get off until 7.50 or just like car riders, eat breakfast in a cafeteria or drop off an instrument if you're in band. At the end of the day, you go to the same spot your bus parked in the morning. And once everyone is aboard, it will take you home. Next, let's talk about the location of things. When you first walk into the main entrance of the building, you'll see the lunchroom on your right and the office to your left. When you go into the lunchroom with every person in your grade, we will cover this at the more later at the end of the video. In the main office, there's the principal office, athletic, counselor office along the front desk. Every class in the school is found in one of the two main halls, the academic hall where you will find your normal classes like math, reading, science, and social study along with your locker. Or the related art hall where you will find every other class like gym, general music, choir, band, and beat. In the academic hall, there is three floors. One for each grade st starting with eight on the bottom, then six, and finally seven on the top. The related art hall has two, two flow. The first has gym and any music related class, and the second flow has every other related art class. To find where your room is, you can look at your schedule. Beside your class is a room number. This room number tells you what floor it is on with the first digit. And with the last three is the number of the room. To go between the floors, there are four staircases. Two main staircases uh, in the center of the school. One at the end of the related arts hall and one at the end of the academic hall. If you ever have trouble finding what class you need to be at, you can ask other students and teachers where to go. Once you know where you're going, it Two, you'll have plenty of time to get there. At the start of the day, you are allowed to go to class at 7.50 and you need to be there by 8. Throughout the rest of the day, there is four minute passing periods to get to your next class. During passing periods, you can use the restroom and go to your locker room. Passing period can be sometimes crowded. It's important that you get what you need done and go to your next class without doing too many things. However, there's plenty of time during passing periods, so there's no need to run to your next class. If you're under five minutes late to your class, you need to give a pass to your teacher and maybe think of a way to shorten your travel time to the class. Speaking of locker, they are one thing that you will use th throughout the day, and they may seem pretty complicated to open, but once you get the ha hang of it, is really easy. Before you open your locker check and try to memorize the combination and what your number is. The combination is the three numbers you enter into your locker to open it. 
For example, we will use the combination 10, 20, 30. To start, you need to clear your locker. To do this, turn the knob to the right three full times around and then stop your, at your first number, in this case 10. Then turn the knob to the left and around your second number once and on the second turn, stop. After this, turn the knob to the right until you land on your last number. Then pull up the handle and your locker should open. If this does not open, clear your locker and try again. But don't worry, if you need help, there are plenty of teachers and other students that can. Along with your normal locker, you also have your gym locker, which has a different number and combination. To open your gym locker, you follow the same steps, except at the end, you continue turning right past your last number until the locker unlocks. Then, to lock it again, close the door and turn the lock left. Next, let's talk about lunch. Each grade have their own lunch time for lunch, but all of them are closed in the middle of the day. Once you get to the cafeteria, the first time you need to choose a seat. After the first few days, you should stay in the same seats. So once you find a seat that you like, you should consider staying there. Also, you have found your seat. You should find out which of the four group it is in. Now let's talk about lunch producer. For lunch, you can get either have your own lunch, own packed lunch, or you can get a school lunch. If you want a school lunch, then well, your group get called up to get their lunch. You will walk up to the lunch line and set the food and drink you want. Then at the end, you will type in the six digit, digit, digit student ID to char charge it to your lunch to your lunch account. This is the same ID number that you use to sign sign into your computer. So make sure you have to memorize it. After you have finished eating your lunch, you can wait until your group is called up again. Take your trash and trays and if you want to get extra food. Then at the end, each table will be individually called to be released. Finally, let's go over using school computers. To sign into anything for school, you need to use your student ID, the same one you use for lunch, and your six character passwords. So once you receive them, either write them down in your agenda book or memorize them. Or if you are using a desk top computer after you turn them on you will need to sign in but if you're using a laptop then you don't a good first place to start after turning on your computers to go to the gms website which you can find by searching G greenwood middle school at the top of your browser once you're there under the student tab you can find most of the link you that you will use including google where you can google drive where you can type your paper and powerpoint Canvas where you can check online classes and power school where you can check your grade Well, that's about it for the base of Greenwood Middle School We hope this can help you through your first few days here And if you have any questions, you can ask any of the teachers or students and they'll be happy to help you I'm Alexa. I'm Denise. I'm Kyle. I'm Ken. Have, have a great, great middle school year, year.